Good morning, YouTube. Louie here with the best silver gold deals of Tuesday, November 26, 2024. Let's rock. And I'm a little late this morning because it took me forever to update all the links. Everything is changing and prices are moving around, dealers are moving around, Black Friday sales, things that you really want to buy right here. Um, so uh, let's get going. All right, uh, gold market snapping back a little bit, up $6 to 2631 a lot of news in the market too. Silver up 25 cents to $30.50. In the gold silver ratio, uh, dropping off that 87 level, now closer to 86, as silver got too cheap in relation to gold. 10 year yield, okay, 10 year yield is under 4.3, which uh, should typically be good for metals. Uh, let's take a look at the five day chart. Um, and uh, this has to do with the Treasury, uh, Trump's Treasury pick which is seem to be seems to be a good pick to the stock markets and to the treasury market but i don't think these low 10-year rates will hold personally the dollar also was uh off yesterday or was it up yesterday uh anyway i'm not sure let me get to a five-day chart uh, the dollar was yeah down yesterday commensurate with those lower 10-year yields Bouncing back up a little bit this morning as uh, Trump vows uh, tariffs, not as big as the ones he initially said, but he's vowing tariffs on Mexico and China, uh, 10 to 25 percent. That is strengthening the dollar, and it should be raising the 10-year, but it hasn't done that so much so far. Copper prices. Copper prices uh, are about flat this morning, still in that range between $4 and Oh, 420 or four. Oh, let's see. The low recently is 411. The high is 421, somewhere in that range. So commodities just holding their own. And uh, if you wanted to take a flyer on commodities right here while they are low, uh, prior to uh, when we see uh, inflation come back, now might be the time. In the economic calendar today, we have new home sales. We have minutes from the Fed meeting in November and the Kay-Shiller Home Price uh, Index and uh, consumer confidence. Okay, consumer confidence at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, I won't see that during this podcast, but that uh, uh, they're, they're claiming it will be strong. In the pre-market, we are in the greed category on the Fear Greed Index of 64. We've got Dow off 124, S&P up 18, NASDAQ up 97, and then the big story is probably the Bitcoin sell-off. Bitcoin now at 92405 In a heartbeat, uh, that rhetoric about $100,000 Bitcoin is now in the past. Uh, but uh, buyers will step in at some point there. Okay, let's get on to the deals. Like I said, everything has been changing. I'm doing my very best to keep up with it and throw you some really good deals here. If you are subscribed to uh, this website, bestsilvergolddeals.com, you got an alert this morning for a Costco deal, which uh, I think everybody should buy. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, but getting on to the deals of the moment. Uh, one gram gold over at Scottsdale, 97.80, I think that says. Um, and one gram gold over at... Um, Sorry, I'm, my eyes are a little blurry here. Over at uh, Summit, 96.50 if you're looking for small gold. A one-tenth gold eagle is $2.99 at Bullion Exchanges. A one-tenth maple is $2.94 at Bullion Exchanges. One-tenth Britannia is $2.73 at Monument Metals. BU, okay, look for BU in the title. That's a good buy. Let me get going to the quarter ounce. Uh, the quarter ounce uh, gold eagle is um, $7.18 at Bold. And we have a quarter ounce Britannia is 704 at Bullion Exchanges. A half ounce Gold Eagle is 1408 at Bold. And a half ounce Maple is 1396 at Pinehurst. Okay, moving on to the half ounce Krugerrand, that is 1361 at Bullion Exchanges. And that is BU or proof. That would be very nice. I haven't bought that, but I really wanted to. Uh, if you're looking for a buffalo, buffaloes are 
27.56 at AppMix. Nothing up on Costco this morning. Uh, moving on to Krugerrand, which ought to be the cheapest of the sovereign gold coins. 26.52, which is $10 over spot, according to bullion exchanges. That is a BU coin. That's a Krugerrand, and you probably ought to buy that, unless we can find it cheaper on eBay, and we will try to do that shortly. Platinum Eagles are 1140 at Hero Bullion in spite of Platinum approaching $900. That is the advantage of collector coins when the bottom falls out of the market. Uh, they don't drop as fast or as hard. If you're just looking for a Platinum coin, uh, this is a beautiful one, a little bit of collector value, but the Platinum collector market is minuscule. So uh, that may not pay off, but it is the cheapest coin I can find this morning at 1011 1011 at Bullion Exchanges for the Perth Mint 125th Anniversary Platinum Coin. There you go. And looking at Silver Eagles, one at spot at Bull X. Remainder of the tube for a small quantity is 35.69 at Bold. And that is $5 over spot. See them raising the premiums there on your Eagles, guys. If you want to use a quantity of 20, 34.49 each at Pinehurst. Those are BU Eagles, and they could be backdate Eagles. And moving on, Bullion Star, I don't know if these are BU or not. It uh, doesn't say anywhere that I could find, but those are 34.58, any quantity pricing, and uh, I'm not sure what you'll get with that but certainly cheap enough. My green light is on. Some people think it's foolish to try to predict the future price of silver and gold. Perhaps it is, but I'm going to keep trying anyway. All right, let's keep going here. One maple at spot at Bull X. Remainder of the tube is 33.24 at Bold. We got a kangaroo over at Bull X in addition to the one at spot, 33.52. And we have a Britannia at Bull X at 32.61. Ding, ding, ding. That's pretty good right there. If you're looking for Libertads, uh, I'm going to give you some advice here. Um, and uh, not all Libertads are the same. Some year mintages are higher than others. And 2024, we do not know the final mintages yet. So anytime you buy a Libertad, I'm going to suggest you buy a 2024, and let's hope for low mintage, uh, a low mintage year, in which case the, your, your value will increase probably 30, 40, 50 percent. Okay, that's why I am only buying the 2024s, although you can find the 2023s and earlier for cheaper. That's what I'm doing, and here you can get 24s for 38.64 uh, at Hero Bullion. That's too much for me. That's why yesterday I purchased the 5 ounce libs, and they're throwing the baby out with the bathwater here with these lower spot prices. And uh, you got a floor under Libertad's, guys. So if you're worried about spot price going down, you may want to consider some semi numismatic with some collector value with an option on appreciation in the future, especially if mintage is low. And then it may not be low, and I could be wrong, but uh, I paid uh, 183 for mine. Five ounce 2024 Libertad at Hero Bullion. That is what I would buy this morning because that is 36 an ounce, okay? Uh, Star Privy Eagle, you can get those for 43.70 this morning at SD Bullion. I think one is just like the other as far as I'm concerned, and I just want the cheapest I can buy, and I wanna put those away for a year, okay? All right, that's what I'm doing there. I'm not buying those in the slab. You can click those links if you want to. This is what was up on Costco this morning. I sent the alert out, and it is still up. $22.99 after rebates puts you at about $86 per gram, which is probably about $14 cheaper than uh, you can typically buy that. So uh, that is a good deal, especially for you flippers, if you want to break that up and sell those. And gold, you know, you may want to see gold retrace and rally uh, here. You can get higher profits on that. But uh, I would buy that in a heartbeat. It's divisible. It's a good price, and I would buy it. Okay, junk in the trunk over at Bullion Express is 22.91 times face, and then less for a bigger lot and more for Mercs. Let's keep going fast here. Quantity of 20 buffaloes is 31.71. That puts you about a dollar twenty. 
uh, puts about $1.20 over spot on a buffalo for a tube of 20 at Pinehurst. They are Sunshine Mint. That's a good buy. Uh, moving on to, I'll skip the Chunky Bar this morning and uh, the starter packs. You guys can click those links. Okay, Black Friday sales. Just to run through these again, JM Bullion has announced its Black Friday sales. They're claiming these Libertads will come out at 249 over spot. Notice they are 2014s, uh, but still that would be a good buy if they ever release those. Uh, Black Friday over at Appmex is coming in two days. And Black Friday at um, Scottsdale, I think, is going on now, but nothing really floats my boat over there. Uh, we had a Black Friday sale at Coin Huskers, and you could have bought almost anything there. I think that sale is over now, but I sent the alert out to you guys. Unfortunately, you have to call them um, to uh, place an order. So uh, lots, of, lots of good deals there if you wanted to fly that way. Okay, let's go to eBay. What's going on with the flowing hair silver? Cheapest flowing hair silver is now, uh, ooh, what's that, $99? Oh, that's a tribute coin. $215 is the cheapest flowing hair silver. These may have some legs. Yeah, they may have some legs there, guys. They could go to $300. Uh, and flowing hair, privy, cheapest one, a little more than $4,000 now. That's a good long-term hold right there. Cheapest flowing hair gold. I'm begging with you guys, don't sell your flowing hair golds. Um, but, uh, you know, do what you want there. I'm keeping mine. All right. And moving on to eagles. Cheapest eagle are going to be cull eagles at $33.50 an ounce. $32.50 if you have a PayPal card or the American Express Clear Blue Cash and you check out through PayPal. Um, uh, well, that's a good deal on culls. I don't like culls myself, so I would go for the BU at uh, 705. That is 35 bucks. That's about 34 bucks out the door. That'll beat the deals above. Get them before the price goes up. We've got maples at 854, tube of 25. We've got Britannias at 854, cheapest price. We've got kangaroos at. 837, ding, ding, ding. Okay, did I do this yesterday? Those are, oh, 834. Uh, tube of 25, BU in the title, good seller. And that's going to be, I can't do the math. See, can I do the math? Multiply by 4 would be 32, 33, 40. I don't know. Those are going to be in the 32s after rebates. That's probably where you ought to buy your non-U.S. Eagle Sovereign Bullion, right? One is like the other, except kangaroo spot, so take that into account. I'll keep going here. Uh, junk, I didn't see any good deals this morning on junk. 23.4 times face, minus 75 cents. I like the Carson Cities. Now, if you want to get the Carson Cities, check this out. This is the MS65 Carson Cities. I just want to show you what the highest one sells for. And if you're trying to get the full set, well, good luck with that, because look at what the... Uh, let's get off that. Let's just get to a uh, key date. Okay, this looks like a uh, $20,000. Let's see. Oh, I want to go the 1893. Look at the 1893 Carson City. goes for $111,000. You think there's a lid on... The, pri the appreciation on these things. There is no lid on numismatics, guys. It, there are so many rich people in the world, uh, so many one percenters, and this is the kind of stuff they buy because um, I'm not saying that's a good deal, but I'm saying this is the kind of stuff they buy. You spend $11,000 on a Carson City Morgan. There's an 1882. There's an 1885. There's an 1879. Those are the harder years, right? And then you get down to the 81s, the 91s. Uh, let's see, the 85s. Uh, old fatty holder. I never heard that term before. Anyway, you know, there, there. That shows you what those Carson cities can do in the money grade of MS65. And if you want to get a high relief peace dollar, those are going for about 1,500 bucks this morning. There's a nice one, NGC. Okay, moving on to, uh, well, I just want to show you what the libs are selling for on eBay. So uh, the 24 libs uh, are going for uh, about 39 on eBay. 
Uh, so that is more than the dealer is charging. And the five ounce libs that I just bought for 2024, uh, you're going to pay uh, about uh, about 39 an ounce. So 36 is a very good deal. They're already selling for more on eBay, and then we'll have to see what happens after that. That's part of the reason I bought those. You got built-in equity when you buy something like that. If you resell, okay, let's move on to the cheapest kilo. Cheapest kilo today is 10.39. 30 bucks off would be 10.09. That's beautiful bar. Is that out of stock? In stock. Free shipping, good seller. If you're just looking to add weight and you'd like it to be pretty, uh, here is pretty and cheap. You don't often see that except in girlfriends. Oops. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's see. We got one kilo, 1039, 30 bucks off. It'd be about 1009 for a kilo. You'll be very close to spot on a beautiful kilo there. Ooh, how about that? How about the vintage bar of the day? This costs a little bit more, but notice how there is a floor on vintage bars. Same kind of thing there. A lot of people buy vintage when they throw the babies out with the bathwater. These are $3.99. That's a little pricey, but aren't they beautiful? Oh, OPM bars with a little mushroom because it was uh, one of the original recycling uh, centers. Okay, there you go. Kilo Kook this morning is uh, BU. This one's out of stock. That one's always out of stock. No, it's not in stock. Look at that. It's back in stock. A 2011 BU Kilo Kook. That doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't know why they're throwing the Kilo Kooks away. That's a good deal, you guys. You may want to pick that up. Um, wow, nobody buying the Kilo Kooks, I guess. Time for me to swoop in and get some more. Okay, best one ounce. Uh, one ounce lot, 3220, 3120 after rebates. And if you want a smaller lot, that's going to be about 650 a tube. That is 3250, about 3150 after rebates. Not a bad deal there. If you're looking for 100 ounce bars, I almost bought that. Oh, somebody bought it. Oh, somebody bought my Engelhard bar. Ooh, look at that one. That's a sunshine mint. So uh, let's see. Yeah, they bought they bought that Engelhard bar. I was really thinking about that, but I bought the libs instead. And I also wanted to buy those um, Odin bars, which are a smoking, smoking buy for a flip. Um, anyway, now uh, your cheapest bar is going to be this Engelhard bar at thirty-one fifty-two. About thirty. That's about spot after rebates, and it is going to be. Is that random? Oh, I don't know. Somebody beat the hell out of that, but uh, it would melt. It would melt if you want to melt it in the Devil Forge. There's some other bars here. Here's the Reserve Bar, also thirty-one ninety-seven. Okay, that's gone. Yeah, if you want something, you just got to buy it. You can't be like, you know, wondering a spot gonna fall further. Ooh, maybe it'll go to twenty-five today or whatnot. You see a good low price in spot based on recent history. You see a low low premium product that has advantages that you um, admire, whether that's collector appeal, whether it's vintage appeal, whether it is a low, low premium, you know, generic buffaloes or something, whatever floats your boat, gold, for example. Um, you just got to buy it, guys. Okay, that's my opinion. I'm going to keep going here to gold. Okay, cheapest one-tenth gold this morning is 281 for a Britannia minus rebates. Cheapest quarter ounce gold is, I'm trying to go fast, uh, two, uh, 693 minus, minus your 3% um, rebates. Uh, cheapest quarter ounce gold eagle is uh, 700 bucks minus rebates. Looks like he's selling those. I don't know if anybody bought from this particular seller who had several for sale at a very, very good price. Let me know because I'd love to know how that turns out. Okay, let's move on to half ounce random gold. Half ounce random gold. I had to move the buy price down on this. Uh, that can't be real. 1338, that's out of stock. Don't fool with me here. 1344 is going to be out of stock. Yeah, right. You're not going to get a proof Libertad for that price. Okay, how about a Canadian maple at 1356? That is out of stock. There, I moved the price too low, I guess. Let's get past the ugly head coins and move on to commemorative uh, varied condition. I don't want you to buy ugly gold just because I wouldn't want it. Okay, a Britannia is 1388, and then you're going to take. Um, 
14 $45 $45 off uh, $45 $13.44 wow that's very cheap it's BU let me do the math on that my son's alarm is going off it's throwing me here uh, 1388 times 0.97 with those good credit cards equals 1346 and the melt the melt price on that is 2692 it seems like a pretty good price to me after rebates okay so that is that let's get on to the one ounce gold eagle and you can click all these gold links and I do appreciate when you purchase something on eBay that you click my links because that provides support to my channel it's one of the only ways I get support okay and fifty dollar gold eagle is uh, twenty seven ninety and that is in stock and that's going to be about eighty five bucks off about twenty seven hundred for a one ounce gold eagle this morning okay moving on moving on um, you can just click these links guys find something good that you like and go for it there's stuff in my ebay store stuff that you can buy and coming up i'm going to be i'm going to be doing uh, a little uh, segment on uh, melting your own uh, silver i just haven't got to it yet here's the credit cards i like and uh, here's that odin bar it went out of stock it came back in stock now I uh, that seems cheaper this morning, uh, $37.66. That's going to come in card, and apparently these are made by the Royal British Mint, shipped over to the Germania Mint, packaged by the Germania Mint. Um, so that is the story on that. Uh, thank you to the subscriber that uh, found that fine print. Okay, so that's good. The one-ounce bars are cheaper. Um, I bought the 10-ounce bar myself. And where is it? I just think it's going to be beautiful. And is it cheaper today? Three forty-one. I don't know if that's cheaper or not. But look at look at that. Look what you get. You get a bar um, that is much prettier than that when you see it in real life. It's going to be in a card. It's going to be a limited mintage of seven thousand bars. And I hear it from my friends across the pond that they are paying big bucks for these guys. So these are going to disappear. Okay, for for you stack collectors, okay, you may not want that, but for you know a dollar or two more than a buffalo, um, I would take a flyer on that. Matter of fact, I would if I had unlimited money, I would just buy all of those. I would, I would buy them all. Okay, there you go. Then you can be the hammer on eBay in the future and say you can't have it for less than five hundred dollars. All right, is that cruel? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Okay. If you still need the flowing hair, I already showed you that. I'm going to keep going here and get out of here. There's lots of good stuff in the picks of the day. And on Black Friday, I'll keep alerting you when you alert me. Uh, thank you to the community, which is one of the best sources of information I have found in the chat room. It's totally free. They're finding stuff night and day. They agree. They disagree. They buy different things. It is a very eclectic group of people, and you want to get in there and mix it up. And it's uh, your emails, your support, your comments, your uh, mentions in the chat room are very, very valuable to this community. Thank you guys for looking out for each other. And, you know, I mean, buy the one you want first and then tell everybody else about it because um, people really, really appreciate that. Here's the three coin shops I recommend on YouTube. Vermilion has wimped out and won't be shipping over the holidays, so cross him off your list for now. Minot is still shipping, apparently, and Coin Huskers is still shipping, apparently. Check all three out. You'll like their deals, especially on Junk Silver. You can support my work with a subscription to Bolden slash New retirement.com it is not that much money and it is something i am a paying member of and i find invaluable in planning my financial future thank you for the cups of coffee and thank you for joining my membership channel all of you 27 wonderful wonderful people who support me with 4.99 a month and uh the join button is right there thank you very much and we'll give you some channel perks like no other channel i promise you that okay and other stuff on amazon that you you may want and closing out in the chat room there's the credit cards you want and I'm lost where's my chat room I lost my chat room guys there was a video I wanted you to watch I don't know I don't know if you really want to know what's going on in politics or not I get a lot of thumbs down when I criticize anything but um but uh, anyway you know the stuff you see right now the euphoria you see right now 
Man, boy, it is really pie-in-the-sky stuff. That's all I'll say. In the chat room today, they are talking about um, Monument Metals, Britannia deal. They are talking about, this is the 25 gram that I posted this morning, but uh, Silverback Stacker beat me to it. The only problem is you're broke, right? You're broke. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Any place for random eagles? Yeah, check out my uh, my website. Um, get those on eBay, guys. You'll be in the 33s, low 34s. Okay, and uh, Minot flash sale. To, oh, uh, Minot's having a flash sale. Spot price basis is using the key. Uh, okay, it was Coin Huskers yesterday. Here's Minot, 50 cents. Uh, all right. All right. Also a good seller. Uh, ask how much their shipping is before you buy there, though. Oh, any other little NTR metals? Uh, Bullion.com, Englehard Bar. Uh, oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Thirty fifty nine. Well, that's the same bar that is on eBay. Um, and I think, uh, well, you'd have to see which one's cheaper. But I have a $10 discount code for them. Save BSGD. Uh, that would work on that bar. Um, I don't know if they own each bar. So that you know what? It may not be that ugly when you get it. Maybe you get a nicer one. Thirty fifty nine. That's spot, dudes. Let's go back over to Kitco, and uh, I'm just exhausted this morning, man. It's just so much, so much changing. Oh, look at that. Gold reversed and silver is only up seven cents. Um, so you decide what you want to do. I would be buying the dips and you do what you want. Okay, wait to buy if you want to wait. Maybe a better Good Friday deal will come out. But if you wait forever, you miss it. All right, that's all I'll say. Thank you and please give me a thumbs up if you appreciate what I've done here. And subscribe if you want to see more virtually every day. Get over to the website, subscribe there. It's totally free. And, uh, you know, watch for my alerts when something really juicy comes up. And we'll just keep sniping off the best deals. That's all you can do. I can't control the spot price of metals, but I can certainly find the lowest premiums and the best deals. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.